This sweet, sweet little video is protected by fair use. It is not for profit, it is for free. You can share this freely with others. It is for the purposes of criticism, commentary, and entertainment. Thanks for watching. Take care. This is Uncle Fester. And at the beginning, he's talking about me. He can't stop talking about me after all this time. What a creep. What a weirdo. And what a liar. What a liar. There was this dude that attacked me back in the day. He's a fucking weirdo, but one of the arguments he said to tell me that uh, Matt was a shill. I would say one of the arguments to say that Matt's a shill is that well, I don't know. Sometimes he, it's hard to tell. But sometimes he argues against Soul Trap, but then he sometimes he argues for it. So I can't really tell where he stands on it. But I heard him go heavy at Soul Trap. Do you guys really think, man, you guys are dumb? Like, that would make him a shill to me. It's like, even if you don't agree with that philosophy or theory, I wouldn't. He's already done that. He's never argued for the Soul Trap. He completely denies it. And I've shown it in many videos. Where have you been? Sleeping? Call yourself a truther? You don't know what the fuck other people are saying. You defend people without knowing what they're saying. That's not a, that isn't about truth. That's ignorant and lazy minded. That's what you are, Uncle Fester. Lazy and ignorant. Matt has denied the soul trap topic for I don't know how long, over a year, year and a half, two years? But it's been many, many times in his videos. Where have you been? Be saying some dumb, dumb ass shit like that. Like you don't know what the fuck this reality is either. So to like even take that route. But anyways, but that would make a show. But one of the things he said that made him a show was that he was on like Fox News and uh, Alex Jones or whatever. Not anybody just gets on those shows, dummy. Do you not realize that? The average person doesn't just get on those shows. They don't just call you up the way that you rep misrepresent it. You have to be connected to get on those shows on TV. You don't understand the way the media works. You're a baby truther. You're not even a baby truther. You're below that. And you come across like a fraud, just the way you look, your expressions, everything. You come across as deceitful. You're a deceiver, and some of us see through you. Some of us have been able to see through you for several years now, at least two years. You're a deceiver. And he sometimes he argues for it, and so I can't really tell where he stands on it. But I heard him go heavy at Soul Trap. Do you guys really think, man, you guys are dumb? This like, that would make him a shield to me. It's like. Even if you don't agree with that philosophy or theory, I wouldn't be saying some dumb, dumb ass shit like that. Like, you don't know what the fuck this reality is either. So, to like, even take that route. But, anyways, but uh, that would make a show. But one of the things he said that made him a show was that he was on, like, Fox News and uh, Alex Jones or whatever. And I was thinking, I would probably go on those if they called me. I wouldn't go alone. If, if it was like a video call type shit or a, a phone, like, phone call type shit. I would go on Fox News. If they were willing to talk to me, I'd talk to them. Like, it's just shit, especially if they're willing to pay me to be on that motherfucker. There you go. It's all about money for this creature. It's all about money for this little creature. This creepy little creature. Go on Fox News. If they were willing to talk to me, I'd talk to them. Like, it's just shit, especially if they're willing to pay me to be on that motherfucker. I could fucking do with a good payment if it was Alex Jones, whatever. If they're gonna pay me, that'd be real good. But I'll talk to any motherfucking buddy. I would talk to Satan, <laughs> like dude, if, if or an alien. Or what? Would you talk to El Diablo? Would you talk to King Stephen? I'm putting it out there right now, an invitation for you to come on my show live and talk. How about that? I've had live streams up running since last November. Where have you been? Have you showed up to talk to me? Nope. Nope. I've tagged you several times and invited you on. 
You say that you'll talk to anybody. Why don't you come on my show? Can you do it or are you too scared? Is that what it is? You too afraid? You want to t pretend to be a tough guy on your fucking show with your halo effect, black light, mind control poster? Some of us see through you. You've got a lot of explaining to do. Tough guy. You're so tough. Have you come on my show to talk to me? Nope. Have you been tagged and invited? Yes. I'm going to have people, since you banned me, go right over here into your comments and invite you and tell you, why don't you go on his show? Meaning me, why don't you come on my show? Talk to me live. Live! You scared? You just said you'll talk to anybody. I don't believe you. I think you're a liar once again. If, if it was like a video call type shit or a, a phone, like phone call type shit, I would go on Fox News. If they were willing to talk to me, I'd talk to them. Like, it's just shit, especially if they're willing to pay me to be on that motherfucker. I could fucking do with a good payment if it was Alex Jones, whatever. If they're going to pay me, that would be real good. But I'll talk to any motherfucking buddy. I would talk to Satan. <laughs> like, dude, if, if, or an alien or whatever. I would talk to the mind virus. If it, if it could manifest up and become an entity next to me right now in energy form, I would be willing to communicate with it. Like, I'm willing to talk to any fucking uh, I, I don't think that that automatically makes me a show. As a matter of fact, I would think if they would be willing to talk to somebody with my type of thoughts and it's fucked up world, that sort of makes them not a show. <laughs> like, like if Alex Jones was like, which would never happen. I mean, like, like, I, again, this creature doesn't understand what shill even means. He thinks just, it's just incredible, this guy. He thinks it's as simple as who you talk to. Alex Jones, is, I think he's a billionaire. He's made that much money selling half-truths and fear-mongering for decades to people. And this creature here is so out of touch and is so dishonest that he would say that it makes him not a shill if they're willing to talk to someone. You're fucked up. What a fucked up way of, of, of skewing things, warping things. And that's what creatures like you do, Uncle Fester. Creep. Someone has to stand against evil. I would think if they would be willing to talk to somebody with my type of philosophy in this fucked up realm, that sort of makes them not a show. <laughs> like... Like if Alex Jones was like, which would never happen. I mean, like, like I, again, I, I don't think, I think I have more subscribers than it says I do, but I don't think I'm like a huge channel in the realm, but uh, the odds of happening are very low. I'm just saying I would go on and I would have no fear of that automatically making me a shill. Again, I wouldn't go on alone. You have 1100 subscribers. Of course, you're not a huge channel. You're a small channel. You can't even be honest about that. You think you have more subscribers than what YouTube shows? What do you think you have? Because your views are pretty low. Uh, in two days, you had 256 views. That's what it shows. 22 likes. I don't think you have thousands and thousands and thousands of people watching your channel. I just don't. There's not many comments. Um, I, I don't buy it. I think you have an ego problem and an honesty problem. Because you're Uncle Fester. You're ugly. Inside and out. Boy. Oh, and I've seen that Florida dump that you live in. That place that you live in looks like a fucking dump. Looks like you live in a dumpster. You look like Oster Oscar the Grouch living in a fucking dumpster. That's what it looks like. That's why you only show that poster behind you. The place you rent is a dump. He rents a house, everyone, and he has family living with him. He doesn't live by himself. Uh, the odds of happening are very low. I'm just saying, I would go on. And I would have no fear of that automatically making me a show. Again, I wouldn't go on alone, especially if it was Fox News. Hell no, I'm not going alone. If I could bring all my people with me, 
if I can bring all my people with me and they get to stay with me, there's no, there's not going to be some weird scenario where I get pulled because I truly believe them people. I don't know what they are. I don't even know they're humans. Like I really believe, dude. I'm dead serious. I, I truly believe people. I'm laughing not because I'm being deceptive or lying or making a joke of it. I'm laughing because why am I laughing? Because oh, it's like he's laughing those black teeth right out of his mouth. Look at the black teeth. Gross, man. Fucking gross. God damn, that's gross. Look at this. Look at this. Damn. God damn. It's like a jack-o'-lantern that somebody carved and there's missing teeth. Fucking gross. Look at the beard. The scraggedy, scraggly, raggedy, unkempt, gross, disgusting beard. It looks like a homeless bum. He should be friends with Creepy Keith, the rebellious meat prick. Two bums. Two dirty fucking lazy bums that just want money. Always focused on money. I truly believe them people. I don't know what they are. I don't even know they're humans. Like, I really believe, dude. I'm dead too. I, I truly believe people. I'm laughing, not because I'm being deceptive or lying or making a joke of it. I'm laughing because why am I laughing? Because oh, it's like because I still understand the old world view. So I like I'm still looking at myself from that perspective, and I know I look crazy, and it's funny to me. But I truly believe what I'm saying. I'm not laughing because I think it's funny. Like I'm, well, I, I mean, I do kind of think it's funny, but I mean, just like <laughs> being dead serious, I wouldn't. What's it, is there such thing as like black people that are racist? Like what's the opposite of KKK? Is there such a thing in the realm? Like I would feel more comfortable at a KKK rally as a black dude than I would at Fox News by myself. I'm dead serious. Like I'm not trying to be cute or funny or I would physically feel more safe at a fucking KKK rally than I would at a fucking Fox uh, news station. I would have to have my bro I would have to have everybody with me. Strapped up. Like uh, these people might turn into lizards on me. Like I truly believe in that. Dude, I just I know I look crazy. I don't care. I don't care, bro. Like, I, I really but I wouldn't feel I would not feel safe going by myself. I would do like that. I don't know. Oh, he can't go by himself to his studio. What a coward. What a complete freaking coward. He says strapped up. I think somebody uses a strap on with him. I think somebody straps one on and uses a strap on with this creature, this Uncle Fester. That's what I think. Look at it. Look at the dome. Look at that dome. Look at the beard. Oh, look at the teeth. Look at the teeth. Ah, look at that. Gross. Yuck. Ugh. 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 God, that's gross. God damn. Fuck. Wear a paper bag over your head. God damn. What is that? creature I know I look crazy I don't care I don't care bro like, I, I really but I would feel I would not feel safe going by myself I was going to do like that I don't know what would happen but I know something weird would fucking happen I don't know what would happen but something would happen the fucking thing the fucking Elevator doors would close, and a dude or a dudette that on with fucking turn and uh, <laughs> they take off their face. Be some fucking lizard like, uh, like twist. We've decided to feast on your soul. Okay, I'd be stabbing somebody up, bro. If I was strapped up, I'm always, <laughs> I'm always within arm's reach of a 12 gauge, but you know. Not that I'm paranoid, I just like to be safe, but I wouldn't feel safe at Fox News by myself. I'll give the motherfuckers a He's such a tough guy, he wouldn't feel safe at Fox News by himself. Incredible, what a tough guy. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Pussycat. Twelve gauge, but you know, I'm like uh, not that I'm paranoid. I just like to be safe, but I wouldn't feel safe at Fox News by myself. I'll give the motherfuckers a, a, a video or a phone call, maybe. But 
I ain't going on there, bitch. <laughs> I truly, but bro, I've, I've seen too much weird shit going on from people. Too much weird, unexplainable shit for me to ever walk into a scenario like that naive. <laughs> like, I've just, I've seen too much shit now. It's like, something's going on with you people. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know if they're spellcasters, wizards, they're uh, warlocks and witches, or they're lizard people, or they're I don't fucking know. I just know I don't trust them. I mean, not to mention the fact that they're constantly deceptive, evil, demonic, all they ever broadcast. <laughs> that would fucking, there you go. Uh, they're their stations and their channels, like what the fuck? Why are you guys using all this goofy language? And their little broadcasts. They're always demonic. They, they don't ever talk about anything good going on. Anymore. Nobody's mouth gets as dry as this guy. He has to drink constantly or he'll be licking his lips all the time. Those big old lips around that hairy beard. He's got a hairy camel toe face. It's a hairy camel toe face demon. That's what it is. This creature here has demonic entities. He's admitted to it in videos that I've shown, I've shown clips. He's a demon, mate. He's a demon. Just look at him. Just look at him. Just look at him. They're always demonic. They, they don't ever talk about anything good going on in reality. And then again, maybe you could say, well, maybe they're just even reporting it. Maybe there ain't nothing ever good going on in reality to talk about. <laughs> Did we ever, like, <clears throat> what is there good to talk about? Where do you think he got that from? He's been watching my channel. That's what it seems like, doesn't it? Seems like it. Gonna jump ahead a little bit here. Let's see what this creature has to say. Creepy creature. None of you demons actually give a fuck about the evil that's going on beyond you because you've got some sort of demonic publicist or some handler saying, hey, don't talk, bring that kind of shit up because they work for the goddamn demon system. You're all fucking pawns and demons. You're either pawns and demons in this realm. Let's tell the real truth, you little fucking pussy boys. You're either pawns or two demons, or you're demons yourselves. You're all low fucking level, low level entities. I really wish I could be in their minds. I, mean, I doubt any of them is watching the video. Like, well, I know maybe the most important ones of them are watching the video. Like mine. I really would like to know what they see when they look at me. I would say even demons would view you as ugly, but I don't think any important demons watch you whatsoever. That's your ego speaking again. You're full of ego. You're full of ego. It was just a blink of an eye ago that you were a Christian. Remember that when you were a Christian? Why don't you get honest? Remember when you were a Christian, Chrissy? Wasn't that long ago? It's just a minute ago that you were a Christian. You said you were a Christian for 12 years. You weren't even raised Christian. You joined it as an adult. What a fool. You weren't born into it. You weren't born into the indoctrination cult. You chose it later in life as an adult. <laughs> Incredible. You were completely different years ago as, and on your channel. I wish I could be in their minds. I, I mean, I doubt any of them is watching the video like mine. For all I know, maybe the most important ones of them are watching the video like mine. I really would like to know what they see when they look at me. Oh, what are you all righteous? Blah, 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 for humanity. Are you a little soft boy? Are you, uh, are you fighting for them? These dumb... Like, I, I, would, I would love to have a conversation with one of them, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, and I don't think that that would make me a shill or whatever. It's like the ones not having conversations with the sh the bad guys in reality are the shills. Uh, but anyways. <clears throat>
I'm actually willing to talk to anybody. Again, if I start streaming full time. Oh. Wait a second. Did he just say he's actually willing to talk to anybody? Is that what I just heard him say? Uh, and I don't think that that would make me a shill or where it's like the ones not having conversations with the sh the bad guys in reality are the shills. Uh, but anyways, <clears throat> I'm actually willing to talk to anybody. Again, if I start streaming full time, I'll talk to a new motherfucker every day. If you're if you're willing to come on my channel and talk, I'll talk to anybody. Uh, again. You could be one of us, you could be one of them. I don't give a fuck. You could be the devil himself. Come on my channel, we'll have a great conversation, you little... Come on my channel, we'll have a great conversation. Get some guts. Back it up, back up your claims that you're willing to talk to anybody. I want to see this happen. I want you to back up those claims. Come on, Chrissy. Back it up, Uncle Fester. Back up the claims. Look at the mustache growing right over his lips, covering that lip up. It's He's got the hairy camel toe right there. Come on my channel and explain why you look like a hairy camel toe. Why you look like Uncle Fester. Put a light bulb in your mouth and light it up like Uncle Fester. You said you could do it. You said you could do it. You said that in a video. Back up your claims. with one of them if i'm being honest with you uh and i don't think that that would make me a shill or where it's like the ones not having conversations with the sh the bad guys in reality are the shills uh but anyways <clears throat> i'm actually willing to talk to anybody again if i start streaming full time i'll talk to a new motherfucker every day if you're if you're willing to come on my channel and talk i'll talk to anybody uh, again, you could be one of us, you could be one of them. I don't give a fuck. You could be the devil himself. Come on my channel. We'll have a great conversation, you little fuck boy. But I probably ain't gonna like your bitch ass. I probably ain't gonna like nothing about you. But, uh, <clears throat> anyways, um, yeah, I think I would. Again, yeah, I'll go. I'll go. If one of them called me, again, especially if they were fixing to pay a brother, I'd be like, I'll see you guys in a second. But fuck them and their mamas until they call me. <laughs> no. For all I know, Alex Jones' mom's a saint, right? Like, I don't really think that they're like, I really believe Alex Jones is a real dude that feels like what he's doing is right and he's on the right. What a low level this guy's at. He thinks, Al he believes in Alex Jones. Can you imagine somebody that claims to have been a quote truther for years and years? It believes in Alex Jones. Imagine that. I want to talk to this guy on my channel. I want to pick his brain a little bit and expose him and show people what level this guy's at. And if you're not careful, there's people that are new to this that could get wrapped up in this kind of stuff. You could stay at that level if you follow this stuff. So I want him on my show. I want, I want to show what he is. I want to ask him about the demonic entities that he claims to have had attached and, and cast out from him and that they died and all this stuff. I want to ask him a lot of things. Are you afraid to come on my show, Chrissy? Do you just have a big mouth when you can run your mouth behind someone's back or at a safe distance? Are you scared? Is that what it is? Are you scared? I've tagged you, invited you multiple times. Why don't you come on my show? Why are you so why are you so afraid? What are you afraid of? Why are you scared? Come on, boy. Come on my show and talk to me. Look at this goofy face here. <laughs> But fuck them and their mamas until they call me. <laughs> no. For all I know, Alex Jones' mom's a saint, right? Like, I don't really think that they're like, I really believe Alex Jones is a real dude that feels like 
what he's doing is right and he's on the righteous path and blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't think that those, those people are driven by the mind virus um, so much. I do feel like he's on a righteous path I, when I see Alex Jones. Um, I understand all the arguments of he makes truthers look crazy. Like, well, what are truthers talking about nowadays that doesn't look crazy? Truthers make themselves look crazy just based off of the information they're observing. It's a crazy fucking realm. Every time we point something out, it's, it's weird and crazy. <laughs> of course they look crazy. <laughs> We're never finding any golden nuts. Listen to all his nervous laughter. <laughs> As he's talking, he's just... <laughs> Alex Jones has been a shill for decades. Y2K, he, was, he, was, he had a fake broadcast and he was... He was uh, fear-mongering and reporting things that were not happening in the realm, that there was all kinds of collapses and that it was going to be the end of the world type of bullshit. In 2000, New Year's Eve from 1999 when it went to 2000, Y2K is Alex Jones broadcast. Then again on a nine and a certain double hockey sticks event, he was fake crying and stuff like that on his broadcast. There's video of him from decades ago being fake. He's been fake for a long time, and this these idiots like this guy can't see through it. What a low level this guy's functioning at. He just wants to make money doing this as a full-time job. That's his goal, to make Alex Jones money. He'd love to be in that position. He wouldn't care if he had to lie to people every day, so long as he make millions and millions of dollars a week. He'd love it. He'd love it. Well, what are truthers talking about nowadays that doesn't look crazy? Truthers make themselves look crazy just based off of the information they're observing. It's a crazy fucking realm. Every time we point something out, it's, it's weird and crazy. <laughs> of course they look crazy. <laughs> We're never finding any golden nuggets in, in our tr voyage of truth finding. We don't, ching, 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 and the chest appears and blip, 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 it opens up and boo, we get some sort of new magical ability. Uh, you know, nothing happens. In our voyage for righteousness, we're just we're just a righteous person, constantly subjected to a demonic realm. You're not a righteous person. You threaten violence against people because you can't compete with them verbally using words. You make threats of violence. You're not a righteous person whatsoever. You're not righteous. You're not moral. You're just a creep. You're a creepy creature. You relate to Charles Manson, as you said in a video recently. Because you are like that. You are like that. You do have uh, impulse control problems and violence issues. Your whole life has been that way. You've admitted to that. You've assaulted people. You've sold drugs to people, including children. You've broken into old ladies' cars and stuff like that. Carjack people st stole their cars. You've had a life of being a fucking douchebag, a scumbag. You're not righteous. Not at all. You're not righteous whatsoever. How much of a beacon of light we become, or how? You're not a beacon of light at all. You're sickening. You're gross. Absolutely hideous. Inside and out. Hideous inside and out. point something out it's, it's weird and crazy <laughs> of course they look crazy <laughs> we're never finding any golden nuggets in, in our tr voyage of truth finding we don't ching, 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 and the chest appears and blip, 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 it opens up and boo, we get some sort of new magical ability uh you know nothing happens in our voyage for righteousness we're just we're just a righteous person constantly subjected to a demonic realm Oh, and it happens over and over and over again. It doesn't matter how righteous we get. It doesn't matter how much of a beacon of light we become or how gentle and, and forgiving and loving we get. We will still be subjected again to the Dookie Boy realm again tomorrow. And then the day after. And then the day after. Because most of us are waiting on a false savior. Most of us are waiting on a gaslighting to pretend to come around God. Again, I just made a 30-minute video. And I don't know if I said this in it.
if I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry, guys. But um, the second that that entity stood by idle to bad shit happening was the same second it became evil to me. If it became, if it came back now on a fucking chariot of gold and rainbows and he was zapping evil, sure, I'm going to be grateful that he finally showed up and fixed this fucking hell realm, but I'm still going to look at him like he's a goddamn part of the same demonic system that was tormenting us the whole time. With great power comes great responsibility. If you have the power to stop evil and you sit by idle while evil's happening, you are evil. Where do you think he got that from? He hasn't been saying that for years. Where do you think he got that from? He hasn't been saying that for years. He's been talking about thinking there's some good God out there. Now all of a sudden his tune has changed. Like a lot of them on YouTube. Do you understand what's going on? I hope you do one day. Maybe before I pass on out of this realm. I hope you understand what the fuck's going on. Because they're going to steal from me. Then they're going to warp it somehow. And that's what they do with truth. These wicked creatures that are double agents, that are shills, that will do anything for a dollar. They would do anything for a dollar. Not just through YouTube donations, but they could be paid elsewhere by other, we'll call it organizations, clubs. If you get what I'm saying. If you trust that face and those eyes, you got issues. You have real work to do with body language and understanding and reading people, because this is obvious. This is obvious here. You got real work to do. If you can look at this face on the screen and trust it, you've got a lot of fucking work to do before you leave this place. I'm not saying it to hurt you, I'm saying it to help you. You got a lot of fucking work to do. You better get started. Because you're messed up if you can't see what that is. With great power comes great responsibility. If you have the power to stop evil and you sit by idle while evil's happening, you are evil. You are in turn evil. There's no way around it. There's no way around it. You can't say, oh, well, then God created the Lucifer God. I've talked about God, abandonment, neglect, compared it to... A woman neglecting, leaving her toddler alone, going on vacation, stuff like that. This creature said not that long ago, I think it was last year, in the last year or less, he said that murder is not immoral. If you trust this creature on the screen, you've got screws loose and you've got real spiritual issues. You're spiritually blind. Spiritually blind. There's no way around it. You can't say, oh, well, then God created the... 33 minutes and 33 seconds just, just went by there. I'm gonna rewind this again. I wanna hear this again. Sure. I'm going to be grateful that he finally showed up and fixed this fucking hell realm. But I'm still going to look at him like he's a goddamn part of the same demonic system that was tormenting us the whole time. With great power comes great responsibility. If you have the power to stop evil and you sit by idle while evil's happening, you are evil. You are in turn evil. There's no way around it. There's no way around it. You can't say, oh, well, then God created the Lucifer guy and he was bent. Like, if these characters exist, they're all a part of the same entity, though. <laughs> That's just the bad guy. That's the bad cop. And then Jesus is the good cop. Jesus is the feminine and loving and gentle. And he's the, the uh, masculine, evil and manly and evil and bad and gross. And... Something's lurking inside. It's, it's, it's just, they're just, but they're both still puppets of the same nature. <laughs> it's just one plays the role of good guy doesn't mean that I all of a sudden I'm on, I'm on this motherfucker's team because that mother 
you were for a dozen years. What do you mean? Now you have a change of heart because I've showed them to be Janus. They're both on the same team. Both wings of the same bird. Good guy, bad guy, left, right. There you go, black and white, duality. I've explained it in my videos. Now all of a sudden he's talking about it. This is the way it goes on YouTube, people. If you can't pick up on it, then you've got issues, but they always do this. Eventually, after a month, two months, six months, they'll watch a video by mine and then I'll, they'll start talking about it. Sometimes they do it within a week or two. Their words coming out of their mouth is the same as what I've been saying. All of a sudden, he's, he's talking about it this way. The way that I have been. It's not a coincidence. This goofy creature here, if you fall for this, you've got issues. You have real issues. And there's a lot that, that do fall for this. There's hundreds. Hundreds watching this garbage that fall for it. That praise this creature. And they think this is a great channel. They're absolutely duped by this creature. And he's so obvious to see through. They're going to have so many issues when they leave their body. They're going to be duped by demons that are far trickier than this one on the screen. I'm on, I'm on this motherfucker's team because that motherfucker's team's his fucking team too. If you're conscious and aware of what's going on. So I said, if this motherfucker show up, I'm not going to be happy about it. If the wrong gets better and more loving and caring, cool. I'm glad that that happened. But if you would, in other words, if you would have, if Jesus came back and zapped all the evil, like a lot of people think is going to happen, they're just going to be raptured up into a heavenly realm out of the hell realm that they were forcefully subjected to for no reason. Uh, and me and him ended up in a room together after he got cured and healed and did everything positive. I just, I would be nice to him. I still wouldn't be cool with him. I'd be like, bro, why the fuck did you? How many kids died while you were sitting by idol? Because again, six hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand a year. Now all of a sudden, this creature's bringing that up. This creature on the screen has said that he could cure hunger by building all these greenhouses with robots running them, picking the vegetables, fruits and vegetables. He thinks fruits and vegetables are the answer. He also said, in, he made videos saying that he can cure, he has a cure or solution for homelessness just to dig underground tunnels and build homes underground and 3D printed homes. And, and But dig underground and have people living under you in cities and he said there's lots of space underground people could be living in these underground cave homes and stuff this this guy thinks that he solved everything he, he thinks that this realm can be fixed he thinks that, that you can fix this realm i have huge disagreements with this creature on the screen beyond you know the the uh way that he's made fucking uttered threats towards me like a real fucking weak creep but he won't come on my show he's been invited on for months where are you Chrissy why don't you show up why don't you come on my show and talk to me live you said repeatedly in this video that you'll talk to anyone you won't with me you haven't so far you've been dodging you've been avoiding like a coward why don't you come on and have a conversation don't be scared little boy as Granny Smith would tell you don't be scared, little boy. Don't be scared, little Chrissy. Come on and talk to me on El Diablo Radio International. The greatest show in hell. The cream of the crop. Don't be scared, little boy. Don't be scared, Chrissy. Come on and talk to me sometime. Man up. Man up.